Derivation of Mutual Inductance by Madam Rosmaya. Before we discuss the derivation of mutual inductance, M, we recall the mutual induction. So what is mutual induction? Mutual induction is the principle that current running through a conductor will generate a magnetic field and a changing magnetic field will induce current in another conductor. From Faraday's law and Lenz's law, we have EMF induced equals to negative d psi by dt, where this psi is a magnetic flux and t is time taken. This means that EMF induced is directly proportional to the d psi by dt. And magnetic flux also is directly proportional to the current. From the previous lesson, uh, the B equals to mu naught Ni and magnetic flux equals to NBA. So if I is directly proportional to B and B also directly proportional to psi, magnetic flux, where mu naught and uh, number of turns density and number of turns A is a constant. And we substitute I into psi, we have E directly proportional to di per dt. And if we put a equal sign here, so we must put a constant. And the constant is called m. And m is mutual inductance. And the unit is Henry. If we arrange the equation m as a subject, so we get m equals to negative e per di by dt. And e is the mf induced in the secondary coil. And di by dt is the rate of change of current in the primary coil. So we can give definition of a mutual inductance. So we can say that mutual induct inductance is a ratio of mf induced in the secondary coil to the rate of change of current in the primary coil. From these two equations, E equals to negative d psi by dt and E equals to negative m di by dt, we can equate them and we can cancel the dt both side, leaving d psi equals to m di. So now we have separate variables psi and i in the equation, so we can take integral on both sides of the equation and we can bring m to the front because it is a constant. Okay, nothing here means 1. Here also same. So when we integrate 1 with respect to psi, we will get psi. And integrate uh, 1 with respect to i, we get i. So we get the equation psi equals to mi. So this is the first uh, formula. For, derivation, for mutual inductance M, the relationship between magnetic flux and I. Next, we are going to do further derivation uh, of equation for mutual inductance. Okay, consider this diagram uh, where a coil is wrapped around a solenoid. So the solenoid has current flow through it. So the solenoid will become a primary coil and the primary solenoid and the coil uh, is uh, attached to a, a voltmeter. Okay, the magnetic field is provided by the solenoid. So we use formula B equals to mu naught and I. And the number of turns density we can replace by NP per L. N is number of turns of the solenoid. And then from the formula, magnetic flux equals to NBA, uh, magnetic flux linked with the coil. So the N here is NS, secondary coil. And B, uh, because the magnetic field provided by the solenoid, so we use BP. And A is a cross-sectional of the coil. And from previous uh, formula, psi equals to mi so we combine both of the equation equate the equation mi equals to ns bpa 
and then substitute the BP magnetic field from the solenoid into the equation. Okay, next we can cancel out I, and the formula for M becomes mu naught and S and P A per L length of the solenoid. So this is the first uh, equation or derivation or expression for the mutual inductance. We can also uh, substitute and p number of density of the solenoid in the first equation. And p per LP equals to and p. So as a conclusion, the mutual inductance depends on number of turns and then cross-sectional area and the relative permeability mu r. So mu naught if the solenoid has nothing uh, in inside the solenoid but if we insert an iron core in the solenoid so the formula here becomes mu naught mu r. Okay, we've done uh, for the case where a coil is wrapped around a solenoid. Next we are going to discuss uh, if a coil uh, is, is uh, wound uh, on each other. Uh, or in other words, two flat coils are arranged coaxially like this. Okay, the inside coil is connected to the voltmeter and the outside coil uh, has current flow through it. So we are going to derive an expression for mutual inductance uh, in this case. Two flat coils are arranged coaxially. Uh, the primary coil has n p number of turns, and the secondary coil has n s number of turns. Then the radius of the primary coil r p and radius of the secondary coil r s. So we are going to derive the expression for the mutual inductance between the coils. For primary coil, because this is a coil, so the Magnetic field formula equals to mu naught and pi per 2r. And for secondary coil, psi equals to nba, so secondary coil here, so ns, uh, bp, the magnetic field comes from the uh, primary coil, so bp and a is a cross sectional, uh, 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 sorry, a is a uh, area of the uh, secondary coil. So, equate to MI and substitute BP into the equation and then cancel out I. So, we get M equals to mu naught and S and P A per 2 RP. And then the A is area and A, uh, A is the area of the uh, secondary coil. So you use pi r squared. The r is rs. So this is the conclusion. The mutual inductance uh, for the two cases. We try this example. A coil of 300 tons is wrapped around a solenoid having a length of 20 cm and has a total of 1600 tons. The cross-sectional area of the solenoid is 1.8 times 10 to of negative 3 meters squared. Calculate the mutual inductance of the two coaxial coils. If the current in the solenoid changes at the rate of 30 ampere per second, what is the induced EMF in the coil? So the solution is, we can imagine uh, the the uh, solenoid and the coil okay, like this. Diagram not given but we can imagine the diagram and this is the coil and this is the solenoid and 300 turns is ns okay secondary coil we can use a uh, symbol s or 2 and 1600 turn is the uh, primary uh, okay primary means the solenoid number of turns of the solenoid and s number of turns of the coil okay 20 cm is length of the solenoid. 
and the cross sectional area they sh they share both cross same uh, cross sectional area because the coil is wrapped around the solenoid and the i by dt is uh, 30 ampere per second so this is the rate of change of current okay for a use the formula m equals to mu naught and s and p a per lp from this uh, equation so we substitute mu naught 4 pi times 10 to the power of negative 7 and ns is a coil so 300 turns and p 1600 for the primary number of turns of, uh, for the primary uh, solenoid and uh, cross sectional area 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters squared and lastly, the length of the solenoid, 0 0.2. So, we get the answer, 5.43 times 10 to both negative 3 Henry. Okay, next, uh, question B. The current in the solenoid changed at the rate of 30 ampere per second. So, we are going to find the induced EMF in the coil. Induced EMF in the coils, we can use uh, negative M di by dt. So, di by dt is given 30 ampere per second. And the mutual inductance uh, from A. So the answer is uh, 0 0.163 volt. So for induced EMF, uh, it's already understood that the direction of current is uh, opposite uh, of the primary current. So we uh, just take the magnitude 0 0.163 volt. Okay, we try the second example where the two flat coil are arranged coaxially. So, given that the number of turns for coil primary are 120 turns and the radius is 5 cm. And for a secondary coil, N2 or NS, uh, 20 turns, number of uh, turns is 20 turns and the radius is 0 0.50 cm. So, we are going to calculate the MF induced in coil uh, Q when the current in the coil increases at a rate of 0 0.67 ampere per second. So the solution is so given that uh, rate of change of current 0 0.67 ampere per second. So from the formula EMF induced equals to negative m di by dt. So we mutual inductance not given. So, we can use uh, this formula. So, from the conclusion we get just now, uh, M equals to mu naught and S and P pi RS squared per 2 RP. So, you, we use uh, this uh, formula and substitute mu naught 4 pi times 10 to power of negative 7 and NS and NP uh, 120 and 20 turns. Okay, next pi. And the radius of the secondary coil is 0 0.0050. Uh, don't forget to convert to meter. 0 0.50 cm convert to meter. And the radius of the primary coil is uh, 5 cm convert to meter. So the answer is 2.37 times 10 to the power of negative 6 Henry. So we substitute the motor inductance into the above equation. And the I by dt is 0 0.67 ampere per second. So the answer is 1.59 times 10 to the negative 6 volt. So the induced EMF is 1.59 times 10 to the negative 6 volt. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. The end.